All right, so we're going to take a look at uh, QTest Manager now, and we're going to take a look at the difference between what those test results look like as they come into QTest from the various agents. So I ran one uh, directly from the automation host, and that was our Postman agent, uh, which is a universal agent. We get those back in a nice little dated folder, and you can see that all of our test results are posted directly into it. Uh, the universal agent is uh, going through some revisions right now. Eventually, we're going to be able to customize those folders, but as of right now, we get the dated folder with the automation tag on it. The shell agent responds back in a quite different manner since we have a full uh, uh, capability to have granular control over the folder names. You can actually see uh, that we have a, a nested folder structure. It's fully customizable. This is because we're using the API to be able to report back to QTest. This is one of those integrations that will take more work up front to get going, but tends to be a little bit more rewarding in the back end. As I get into the test NG integration, you will kind of see why. This is a test NG integration. And you can see here that we have uh, several different uh, test runs that have been set up within a folder that is labeled after the test NG agent. And they come in in a flat file format, uh, not a whole lot of customization as far as what your folder structure looks like, although you can take the suite of tests and move it around afterwards. So you can kind of create it, your own folder structure on the back end, but it would be more of a manual process. These uh, built-in agents are more for helping customers to integrate their basic frameworks uh, rather quickly uh, so that they don't have to spend any additional time regarding development or automation engineers time to be able to uh, create those uh, integrations from scratch. So while they are extremely easy to set up, extremely easy to get going, uh, they also don't quite have the robust test results that you would see if you use the API directly with the shell agent or if you use the universal agent. If we take a look at what some of these test results look like, I'll open up some of these samples. I have one here that came in from a rather simple JUnit example. Uh, since this is reporting back at the method level, it doesn't really have anything in the way of test steps, but what we do is uh, we also attach failure messaging to the test run. So if I open this up, oh, bear with me a second, that would work. Yeah. We can actually see the exception message that gets attached. So we do do that with uh, the built-in agents, and it's also something that we wrote into our sample shell agents as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any failures in my universal agent to show you at this time, but it has similar functionality as well. When we report back via the API, of course, it's a much more complex procedure. However, you can also add things like attachments in the regards to if you have maybe a custom Selenium script that you're running and you want to parse those Selenium tests, you wrote a parser for that, you would be able to grab screenshots from your Selenium tests and attach those along with uh, the API call so that you can see them inside QTest. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the Tricentis Academy channel to get the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you best utilize Tricentis's continuous testing platform. For more information, please click the links in the description.